Sometimes it's not what you know, it's who you know. And thanks to the channel's number one German subscriber, Stefan Bream, he sent me a bottle of beer that's brewed every year, but me and you can't go out and buy it in the shops. Christmas, it's beer o'clock and today we have a very, very special bottle of beer sent in by Stefan Bream, our number one German subscriber. Let me just open it out of the box, get it out of the box. We have a bottle of the Maisel Weiss, Baju Warus, well, I think that's how you pronounce it, Weizenbock coming in at 7.5% ABV and this is a three quarter litre bottle. Now, the interesting thing about this beer is they brew it once a year and they brew it around Christmas time but the likes of me and you, or most of us, can't go and buy this beer. You will not be able to buy this beer in a shop, you won't be able to find it on the shelf of a shop this is what they give away. They give this away to their like, top customers. And <laughs> if you actually look on the back, there's no barcode on there, anything like that. Gratis. It's free, you know? So, yeah, I'm, I'm really proud, <laughs> actually, that Stefan has sent me a bottle of this in. Because if it weren't for Stefan, there's no way I probably would have got a hold of a bottle of this to review. So. Without any ado, let's crack it open, get it in the glass, and see what it's like. I just was a bit gingerly opening it there because I rolled it um, to obviously get the yeast in there because obviously with such a big bottle, we're not going to be able to swill it round at the end, you know, and so I've, got, I've had to roll it and get the yeast in. Whoa, what a fantastic looking beer. First impressions. Look at that lovely chestnut colour of that beer. Really, really a uh, Christmassy colour on that with a beautiful three finger head. Let's get the aroma. Caramel banana, vanilla there. Matured fruits. There's a distinct clove smell there. That fantastic clove smell. But it's really, really quite punchy, the clove smell. And this caramel banana, caramelised bananas, absolutely just screams out. Oh, it's abs I wish you could smell this beer. It is absolutely fantastic. This smells as good as your, your, your Vihai Stephanovitis. Um, that's what I'm now thinking in my head that this is this is a very similar beer, similar sort of ABV, um, similar sort of smell. Absolutely cracking. Let's dive in, give it a try. First of all, Merry Christmas. Prost to Stefan. Let's dive in. Ooh. 
the mouthfeel of this for Visen is like velvet. It's like it is. Oh, it's fantastic. soft, it's full bodied, you've got that banana, you've got the cloves, you've got the fruit, um, what can I say, the vanilla, um, it's a beautiful beer. Sweet. It feels quite sort of sticky around the teeth as well, which is a good sign. It's it's that sort of that caramel banana, sort of sticking to your teeth, sticking to the roof of your mouth. Um, my mouth is just a wash of Christmassy flavours, and that's that's the cloves. You know, the cloves is really. Um, accentuated in this in this beer I don't think I've had a Vizen that's so as much clovey as this but it's so balanced before I think this beer it has to have that punch of the cloves because it's got the punch of the banana the punch of the caramel the the, the, the dried fruits and it, I think it needs the, the, the punch of the cloves there to go with the other flavours. You know, it's no point putting just a hint of cloves in there. It needs that big punch of cloves. It all amalgamates together fantastically. Um, it is a pleasure to drink. And the way that, look, the way that laces that glass. Absolutely fantastic. It's delicate. Um, it's not a lot of uh, carbonation to it, believe it or not. Um, it's quite a quite a flat beer in in regards to the carbonation. You, you can see the carbonation there. You know, you hold it up, you can you see the carbonation there. But it's not like fizzing round, dancing on your tongue. It's it's so smooth, so soft, so smooth, um, sticky. It's a great example, and think about it. You know, Maisel Weiss, uh, they've been it, they've been brewing since 1887, and it's, it's it's basically a family that keep passing it down, passing it down, passing it down. So you know, from generation to generation. So you know, it's great, and uh, apparently, like I say, every Christmas they produce this beer, and you know, people that you know, they're their top sort of customers and that sort of thing all get sent a bottle of this. So, you know, they literally, I don't know how much of this they brew, probably quite a bit of it, to be honest. They probably do a, a vat of it, I'd say, a vat of it they brew, and then they bottle it up, and all to their, their top customers. And I think people, if you was, if you buy a crate of uh, Maisel Vice at Christmas time, you get a bottle of this thrown in free, which is, you know, I think it's very good. You know, they're, they're, look, they're looking after the people that are, are basically, you know, Keeping them afloat for for the other three hundred and sixty four days of the year. Yeah, it's yeah, it's, it's quite good, you know. I think we could do a bit more of that in life. Hey, eh? is you know places that reward loyalty. You know, if you're if you if you you know sort of you're loyal to somewhere or loyal to a brand or something like that. I think you should should be rewarded once a year as a thank you very much. But this this beer is absolutely it's immense. I feel so privileged to be able to to drink this beer. You know, it's absolutely fantastic. You know, if it wasn't for Stefan, you know, I've really got to hold my hat, you know, my hat off to you, Stefan. If it wasn't for you, mate, 
I'll probably never ever get a chance to, do, to, to, to try this beer. And it is awesome. Um, it really has blown me away. The quality of this beer, the brew of this beer, and you know, I'm going to hazard it. If they was to put this on the shelves of the shop, sitting there in a the box like that, I wouldn't be surprised if it's got a 25, 30 euro price tag on it, to be honest. It's that good. It, it's, in my opinion, it's worth, it's worth at least 20 euros a bottle, if not more, you know. Um, it's a fantastic beer. It is perfectly crafted. Um, Vitus is my most favourite Vison of all time. And it's just been beaten by this. And it's a shame that people just can't go out and buy this and experience it, but this this is my number my number one vice and it is just something about this beer is just and it's nothing to do with it being exclusive and stuff like that. It's just the mouthfeel, the flavours, the bold flavours in this, it really you know, it's I thought Vitus was a was a Vi High Stefanar turbocharge, you know? And this it's not even turbocharged, this is this is how it's brewed, it's not ramped up, it is, it's been a lot of thought going to this to produce and give their customers what I, I think what they've done at the Maisel Vice is they've brewed this to give their customers what they consider to be the best Vison in the world. Um, have that on us for free, you know, have that on us. This is the bit, but you're not going to be able to buy it, you know, have that on us. And yeah, I think this is this is number one Vison in the world. It's really, really gonna take something to beat this, in my opinion. Um, it's fantastic. Look, if any of you can get hold of a bottle, um, please get hold of a bottle and try it. Uh, I'm quite jealous of you, Stefan, because you seem to get a few bottles of this. <laughs> and uh, I really, really, oh, so I like, I'm over the moon that you sent it to me, Stefan. It is absolutely fantastic. But all you have is, if you can get hold of a bottle of this somewhere, um, snap it snap it up, break their arm off, right? And enjoy, because it's fantastic. So, so like I say, if you can get hold of a bottle, get hold of a bottle, leave a comment below. Obviously, Merry Christmas to you all. Um, I'm having a bit of a boozy time, you probably quite tell actually. Uh, so, Merry Christmas to you all, and obviously, you know, a, a, a prosperous new year. Uh, leave a comment below, give us a big thumbs up if you like the review, hit that little bell, get notified if you know, bring out a new review, and obviously, subscribe to the channel because without uh, you subscribers, the channel's nothing. And, like I always say, beer is the answer, but I cannot remember the question. Thank you for watching, good night. TT says, never play with matches, fireworks, and always drink responsibly. <laughs>